Hey guys what's up? The Kanjali is slightly faster than the Rhino. One large advantage of the Kanjali over the Rhino is that it can reliably crush and drive over cars without them exploding due to the lighter weight. Which won't cause self-damage and allow the Kanjali to be used without having to worry about explosions from other cars crushed under the tank. The Kanjali has access to a variety of weapons that are assigned to each occupants, making a devastating vehicle when fully occupied. The standard tank cannon operated by the driver, which performs similarly to the one found in the Rhino, but has lesser elevation range making it difficult to fire at aircraft. It can be upgraded with a heavy railgun cannon which can be charged to shoot a projectile much faster and farther than the standard cannon. A successful railgun cannon charge requires at least one second, which increases the launch speed of the projectile by 19.9% and also roughly doubles its effective range. The vehicle can be modified with two remote grenade launchers operated by the rear passengers. The driver has the option for installing proximity mines. Now let's compare the standard cannon with the railgun cannon. Now the railgun cannon but without charging it. Now the railgun cannon and charging it every time. Let's see now how much damage it takes. Let's try now with the homing missile. eight homing missiles. The exact same amount as the RPG. Some special mentions. That is all thank you for watching have a wonderful day or night.